okay so our uh, user registration is complete right so uh, our user registration is complete but you saw that we used our cookies and we are actually setting up code tokens so why are we setting up tokens and why are we using cookies so we have to uh, store our uh, authentication token somewhere to uh, then we can verify our token so why are we using authentication token and where are we setting up in our cookies so if we go to our storage so uh, as you can know our our code our javascript course uh, do not have permanent storage so you cannot store data in in your code so uh, there are multiple ways you can set up data our browser provides uh, some storage you can set up small data in your browser so the browser provides three kind of storage uh, we have our local storage our session storage and our cookies so what is the difference between these three so the lifespan so local storage data is permanent that means you until you delete the data the data will stay in your browser according to the domain and session storage session data is session based that means if i go to this tab and when i close this tab this session will be ended and uh, everything inside the session storage will be deleted and cookies we can set up expiration date in our cookies okay then we have our storage size so for both local storage and session storage we have 5 to 10 megabytes of data and for cookies we only have a limited storage that uh, we have 4 kb per cookie and accessibility we can access the local storage data from our javascript code on our client side and same with the session storage but we have for with cookies actually our server both our server and our client side can uh, access can have access to the cookies so data sent with http we do not send the data in our local storage and our session storage with uh, with uh, api calls but with cookies if we set up any data in our cookie and uh, from the same domain where we saved the cookies if we uh, sorry so from the same domain if we say make an api called and we can set up that uh, the which api call our uh, cookies is sent to the backend so that is uh, another feature with cookies and for use cases long term data storage that means you want to save any long term data right for example for our e-commerce site uh, for our cart right so the user when the user adds uh, some product to our cart we want to use our local storage uh, so and for our session storage we want to temporary session based data right for for, for example i mean we are uh, in our ui let's say we have a multi page form right there are multiple 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 steps in a form and uh, when the user uh, enters the first form and first step and goes to the second and the third and then suddenly he reloads so after he reloads if you do not uh, handle it properly the user will be back to the first form so you can set it up in your session session storage that which form uh, which step of the form the user is in and then you can handle that and if the user closes the tab then you can delete it so that is the use of our temporary session and for uh, cookies we are using it for session management authentication and tracking so we are setting up our authentication in our cookies okay so what is api authentication api authentication and authorization is user management process of verifying the identity of a user or application that is requesting access to an api so to understand uh, authentication and authorization better you have to ask two questions for authentication you ask why i mean sorry uh, you ask who that means who is the user uh, who is making the api call if the user is registered uh, or, uh, or or we have a user has access to our api and for authorization after the user authentication is complete authorization is uh, what other functions or features the user has access to so that is how you simply uh, explain uh, authorization and authentication and for api authentication you can use cookie based authentication that means uh, as i said earlier cookies are sent to uh, server with each api call if you set it up properly and uh, for example using the login information the user tries to log in okay 
the server creates a session with a session id after verifying the uh, using the uh, supplied credentials okay the yeah, browser sends a session id we can store this session id in our cookie so upon subsequent request the session ids on the client and server sites are compared that means the cookie is sent to the backend with our api and the backend can uh, handle the authorization and uh, verify the user and the session is ended both client and server side if the user logs out of the application okay some advantages of cookies are cookies are very little space cookies are simple to use and apply they also have the ability to revoke the validity and some disadvantages would be cookies are vulnerable to uh, excesses or csrf attacks and also contain sensitive information that the user which makes them target for attackers so we have to keep it mind when setting up cookies and we also can use authentication using tokens that for example our backend is sending us json web tokens uh, or jwt tokens and jwt tokens is most widely used uh, application authentication method and further they are standalone tokens having usernames roles and right that means we can set up our uh, our other information inside the token uh, our encrypted token and uh, it is very simple. The server creates a JWT token and sends it to the client with secret information. We store it somewhere and with uh, each API call, we send the token to our backend that we did. If we go to our uh, Exios instance. So as you can see, in after our verifying is complete, I am setting up the cookie as myshop.auth in our uh, uh, our token, we are setting the token in our cookie. And with each subsequent API call, that means whenever I am using the Exios instance, I am say, sending the cookie to our backend. So now you understand the relationship, how uh, we are handling our authentication. I am getting the authentication token and setting up in our cookies, cookies and with each subsequent API call, I am sending it to our backend. Uh, with the help of our Exios instance. And uh, the backend will handle the authorization and authentication. So if I go to our page and if we go to our console, okay. So after you come to your console, you can go to application and here is your cookies your local storage and your session storage and inside our cookie as you can see my shop dot auth we have a cookie set up that we set up after the user verification is complete this is the my shop dot auth this is our cookie that we are setting up with js uh, cookies and then we are getting it from our cookies when making an api call okay so that's how you integrate uh, your authentication tokens that's how you get your authentication tokens and uh, your uh, and you send your authentication tokens and just setting up the authentication token will own to work right why are we setting up the authentication token and uh, what what is the benefit of our authentication token so uh, according to our authentication token after coming to the browser we are taking it uh, taking the authentication token and verifying the user and if the verify uh, user is logged in we are uh, we uh, we are uh, providing them some extra features or functionalities right okay 